Hello guys, welcome back to day 18. This is our final flight leaving today, the 737. Everybody's on board, which is good. We've got this new employee, the CFO. Um, unfortunately, the stuff that he's unlocked, we can't currently do anything with because um, we haven't got enough cash to do it. But we are making about $20,000 a day, well, between ten dollars and $20,000 a day. So it shouldn't be long before we have enough money to actually start some research. Now, what are the options we've got? Operations. Um, ability to hire a COO. No, that's not what we want. Pricing. That's going to cost us nine grand and take 20 hours. Goodness me. Bank loans will cost us six grand and take 18 hours. Now, bank loans are tempting because we could expand out and have a third gate here. But to do that, we're going to need about half a million dollars. That's that's the price I'm putting on it. Half a million dollars to extend the taxiway and the airport and build it into something that we can actually functionally use. Half a million dollars. Now that's going to be expensive, isn't it? You imagine, or I imagine. Very expensive, in fact. But it will allow us to get extra flights in. Um... But unlike building this gate, which cost us round about, say, 50 grand for the staff of the gate desks and the gate itself, that pretty much we can recoup the losses on that quite quickly. But um, for the for the extension of the taxiway, the gate and the airport, that's going to cost us some money. I mean, serious money. That's going to be that is going to be about half a million, half a million to do all of that. Six grand in the bank. We have enough to do this now. Let's at least have bank loans made available to us. Because uh, we we are teetering on the edge of bankruptcy with three and a half three and a half thousand dollars in the bank. That's not a lot. Uh, in this in this environment, in the aviation environment, you, you couldn't even buy a replacement flap for an aircraft at that price. Not not for one of these aircraft. Um, maybe a GA aircraft, a Cessna or something along those lines. For that, sure. Uh, installation, you know, I don't know how much it would cost. I don't have an aer aeroplane, but uh, I imagine it's not going to be that cheap. But for a, an aircraft of this size, three and a half grand wouldn't cover that. So, yeah, basically, it's not enough. One person didn't get on board, but it's leaving almost on time. Well, this is interesting. Airline interest. Airline interest is based on price sensitivity, passenger satisfaction, which is good, airport facilities, which is not that good, and more. Work hard for access to the best airlines or face having offers reneged. <laughs> interesting. Um, okay. And this guy doesn't do much. He seems to just stand in one place all day, which is a bit of a pain in the backside. Maybe once I've unlocked all this stuff, I'll just sack him and get rid of him. Because once we've unlocked it, we've got it, I assume. That seems to make sense to me. 9,000 in the kitty. That's not bad, considering we've already spent six grand today. 49%. Uh, oh, for a moment there, we had enough to change our pricing. Now, pricing, I think, is this. And it just returns... Um, it just allows us to modify this basically but if we put the prices up how much you charge airlines to use your terminal per passenger at the moment it's ten dollars and we've got easily 1500 people coming through a day so if we doubled that to twenty dollars which doesn't seem to be a lot when you think that the bar is this wide Hmm, that's interesting. It's gonna it's gonna give us some options, but it is gonna cost nine grand. But we can afford it now, so let's go. And we've got bank loans coming in in fairly soon. Maybe first thing tomorrow, we should have that in place, and then uh, 
then maybe maybe we can get a half a million dollar loan. If we can get a loan for half a million dollars, I'll expand this out. We'll have five or six gates. We'll have an airport with space and uh, facilities galore. It could really work in our favour. It really could work in our favour. Nearly there. 90%. Uh, oh, pricing is queued for research. Okay, so it doesn't research at the same time. So hang on. Has research stopped? No. Okay, good. Bank loans is complete. Excellent. How do you take out a bank loan? Genuinely, no idea how you take out a bank loan. How do you do it? So I've, un <laughs> I've paid $6,000, waited an entire day for bank loans, and I just don't see it anywhere. Kitchen sector. Kitchen sector. It's interesting, the different colours. That confused me for a moment. Um, info heat map. We definitely need some more information around this airport, don't we? Maybe that. Oh my gosh. It's just occurred to me that that is most probably why people are missing their flights. Because they don't know that their flight is about to leave or has arrived or something along those lines. And does an info board have information on both sides? Because if it does, then I shouldn't be putting them against the wall, should I? Because that's ruining the expansion capabilities of it. Hmm. Where's a good place for this to go? <laughs> that's probably a good spot for now. Something like that. I mean, this is a bit of a mess. I'm going to have to move these. Uh, it's not really an ideal place. We're a bit cramped in here at the moment. Um, whoa, that's not where I meant to put that. Oh, I did it again. Just go there, for goodness sakes. Okay. That might get people on their aircraft... Uh, a bit more prominently. Let's just check that report again. Oh, okay, they haven't been they haven't been built yet. Let's speed that up. Here it comes. Here it comes. Here it comes. Information overload. Loads of people miss that flight. That's not good. Okay. That actually kicks out quite a bit of blue goo. Um, that covered that whole area, which is pretty good. So that's a nice model uh, to rebuild, I guess. How many people missed? Two people missed their flight. One was in the toilet, and the other one was down here about to get something to eat. Absolute disgrace. I need to figure out how the heck... I take out a bank loan. And we need to do this as well. I'd forgotten about these. Definitely need to get that sorted out. Um, I honestly cannot see <laughs> I have figured it out our maximum current loan is a hundred thousand dollars 
Crikey. I mean, what can I build with $100,000? I finally found it. Sorry about that. It took me ages. $100,000. Would that be enough to do this? Not even close. Not even close to being enough. That is a huge, huge shame. Uh, pricing. Ah, pricing. Has that come into play? No, it hasn't. How long? It's only 46%. Crikey. So it looks like we're going to have to wait for pricing to uh, come into play before we can start generating enough cash on a daily basis to actually make a profit and uh, start building some stuff. Which is a real pain in the backside still. Still. Uh, at this rate, we'll be at the end of the day pretty quick and pricing hopefully will be available as of first thing tomorrow morning. That'll be day 20. That is ticking over so slowly. Let's check on the flights. How are we doing? Uh, you got an hour to get uh, 60 odd people on board and you've got six people to get on board in an hour and a half. So this has got way too much time. It should not need this much time. 715, where is the 715? You have way too much hour, uh, way too way too much time. I think that's better for you. It's actually starting to get pretty busy, like a like a proper airport. It's just the financial constraints are sort of tying my hands at the moment, which is a bit frustrating. But, uh, you know, it's coming on. It's getting there. Slowly but surely, we are moving forwards. And that is a good thing. Let's just have a little look at... Um, two and a half thousand. And a conveyor line is $300 per square metre. Hmm. Provides a hub for tarmac workers to add, remove baggage from the conveyor network. I see. So I could start building the conveyor network because that's not going to cost me too much cash, is it? That's a good start. Um, now, obviously, we don't have a baggage claim thing at the moment. Carousel. So we could pop the carousel. I'm not sure what that purple line indicates. Uh, let's pop it there. Maybe this will boost our uh, airline interest having a carousel. Let's get the conveyor line. I don't know how to connect it to that. What's the problem? Ah, because it hasn't been built yet. No, no, it, it is there. Hmm. What? Oh, no. Oh, no, we've gone into debt. Oh, no. Oh, no. That... It's only $300 per square metre, and I've built, like, 20 down there. Right, I wasn't paying attention. Luckily, we've had a bit of cash come in. Uh, so that's pretty. That was a pretty scary moment. That's the first time we've dipped into debt there. Day 20. I could have completely ruined it. Research is done. Pricing is complete. Let's try and get a bit more cash in here. Raising prices may cause airlines to be less interested in my airport. They may even terminate their contract with me, which costs money. I can only edit my prices once every 12 hours. So this is a gamble. It's a gamble. 
I've just doubled the price uh, that they're paying per passenger. That's quite a big increase, I suppose. But uh, to be fair, we need the cash to come in. Now, how am I going to know if somebody cancels their, their schedule? When will I find that out? So far, no sort of scary noises coming uh, from that price increase. Let's see how that affects our, our finances. And let's see if we can uh, complete this line. That seems to have worked. So we can now take baggage from the ticketing desk all the way around to the baggage carousel. Uh, we are going to need to build this thing, which is two and a half thousand, but that seems okay. Uh, it needs to be near a road or a taxiway. Okay. So that's that built. Um, let's. It looks like we're making some serious cash right now. Let's make sure this conveyor line. What does it say? Requires connection to baggage carousel. Okay, I'm just doing that. Requires at least one functional hanger with a baggage car. A hanger. A hanger. We need a hanger. Small hanger. <laughs> 28,000 for a small hanger. You are having a laugh. Uh, not enough money. Must be placed facing a taxiway or road. So it's going to have to go there, basically. And we're a bit short of cash. Okay. This is an exciting moment. Uh, once we've got 28,000 in the bank, then I will be buying this, and we should, theoretically, be good to go. That's going to dramatically improve our baggage handling at the airport. Hopefully improve customer satisfaction and um, encourage airlines to come and land their aircraft at this airport and pay that extra $20 per passenger. That's the plan. Nice. Interestingly, I just spotted then that it appears aircraft pay as they land and take off. So we're getting, at the moment we're getting about $800 for each use of the um, uh, of the runway per plane, so that's not too bad. That's not too bad. By the end of today, we should have enough to uh, place this hangar, and then we'll see how that affects everything. Really, I mean, customer satisfaction is pretty good. I've got to say, considering how squished in everybody is. It's not running too bad. 26,000 already. 27,000. We're nearly there, guys. We are nearly there. And they don't seem too put off by that increased price per passenger. So that's good. Maybe that's an indication that we can go a little bit higher. I'd be tempted to push it up another $5, but we'll see. I don't want to rock the boat too early. Let's get airline satisfaction up first 67.5 percent that has increased 32,000 boom okay it looks like that's going to take a little while to build but that's okay uh, now that's telling me that it doesn't have a connection to the baggage carousel via conveyor network which is weird because I'm pretty sure I've I've done that. Right, now I'm confused. What's the issue here?
Is that telling me that one route has to come in and one route has to go out? That can't be right because I've got a, a T junction. Maybe this. Maybe this. What's the problem? I have a T junction here. Is this is this whole section not working? Is that what I've done? <clears throat> I am a bit concerned. I am a bit concerned. I think that's what's happened here. Okay. How much have we got? 18,000. Let's see if I can fix this. Um, come on. So, I think we need to destroy these. Dismantle this thing. Turn it around. Because it appears to be facing the wrong way. Have it come down the other way. And we're going to have to destroy some of this. I think that one can go, that one can go, that one can stay. Um, I'm going to get rid of all of these and all of these. Crikey, what a disaster. Now, the difficulty is, which one is in and which one is out? And how the heck am I meant to know the difference? Um, so it looks like purple is out. I'm not sure what the heck is going on with these lines. The, the little arrows, they're not helping me at all at the moment. Right, so that is in, but I want blue to be in and purple to be out. So something like that, actually. Something like that. Okay. That looks like that might work. No, see, the out is coming here. I don't want the out here. Oh, goodness me. Dismantle again. Having a bit of a nightmare with this. Um, now, I want that and that to connect. And hopefully that will correctly align all of that stuff let's try again let's try one more time here one in and one out but i want it the other way round. i want in to be at the top and out to be at the bottom that looks like that might be it that's not great but i think it's the best we're going to get like so I think that's where it's it's going to be something like that it's not great is it I mean it's a bit of a shambles really uh, let's speed things up nobody seems to be building anything come on guys Okay, so that seems to have aligned itself correctly. Um, <sighs> finances are looking fine now. I mean, I've wasted a lot of money building this, and we still to be still seem to be uh, financially secure. Now, I'm a bit concerned about this arrow being here. Is baggage meant to come this way? I really don't know. Right, so we can get rid of those two, because they're facing the wrong way. And that, I assume, I assume is working now. Did, oh my god, did it just delete, it did. You absolute pillock. 
it just deleted it just deleted my flipping uh, this thing I cannot believe you did that underground endpoints cannot connect to the conveyor network that way oh this is turning into a flipping nightmare No. Yes, I want in at the top and out at the bottom. Crikey Moses, that's got to, that has got to be working now. Because I think I might cry if it isn't. But look at this, another person's stuck. Go home. Requires connection to ticketing desk via conveyor network. Yes. Requires connection to baggage carousel via conveyor network. Requires at least one functional hanger with a baggage car. So do I need to buy a baggage car? This is basically telling me that nothing is attached to anything on this bloody thing. Aha! Awesome! And I just saw that we had a fuel truck option there. Whoops. Okay, so once you've got... Maybe because it's a small hanger you can only have one thing. Right, so we now have the hanger. Clearly there's still an issue with this. I, d I don't know what to do. Why isn't that connecting? Or does it have to come in this way? And out this way? Is, is that it? Is that what the issue is? Don't delete the flipping thing again. This is this is becoming the most infuriating experience, I have to say. That? Something like that? I don't understand. What what do you want from me? Still, still not happy. Nope, still not happy. Still not bloody happy. Ah, oh, I am, I am so angry with this right now. I'm going to Google it. I'm going to Google it, guys. Bear with me. Pauseo. Right, guys. The good news is, I fixed it. Well, I haven't fixed it. I know how to fix it. So let's go ahead and fix this flipping thing. We're going to delete all of that because it's a bloody shambles. And not that. Oh, God. See, look. I don't want to delete the hanger. That's going to force me to delete that hanger. That is stupid. So I cannot delete the underground conveyor line, even though this is uh, utilities specific demolish, it's still going to get rid of that hanger. Do you know what? Sod it. I'm so annoyed right now, I just want to delete the whole bloody thing. The issue is actually here. This is the bug. Um, you cannot connect them in the way that I've connected them. That's the issue. It needs to be like this. 
Are we actually running? Could you actually start running? Thank you. Now the good news is, whilst I've been busily sort of trying to fix this out, we've made a, a quite a decent amount of profit. So that's that's a good thing. That means that the airport itself is functional. Can't believe they're going to get rid of this hangar. Oh, they didn't. Oh, they didn't. That's good. Thank goodness for that. Right. Utilities. Baggage stationy type thing. Uh, we want it the other way round. This is infuriating. It's going to have to be like this. Which is actually okay. That's... I can't figure out where the arrows are pointing. It has to go next to the flipping runway, doesn't it? Alright, we're going to put it there. And that's it, guys. That, that will now work, thank goodness. Not sure if you have to be on the arrow or not, but we'll do it anyway, just just for argument's sake. And also, we've we've got this wrong here as well, uh, so let's demolish all this section. I think we we'll go as far as there. What's the issue? There, like that. Now, once they've had a chance to actually build all of that stuff... Ah! No. No, that's still not... Uh, have they not built it yet? Okay, they're still building it. Okay. Wow, this has been an absolutely epic nightmare. Let's really speed this up. These things don't seem to be quite so angry now. Uh, again, I think I need to be on the blue arrows, otherwise it's not going to work. But that should, once they've built it, be a fully functioning carousel baggage movement system. Should. Should, should, should. Yes. Just the baggage carousel issue. I don't know why that hasn't built. I'm sure I did that. But that is now actually going to work, which is good. That cost an awful lot of money. Thankfully, we make an awful lot of money. Again, it didn't build that bit on the arrow there, which is weird. Hey, it's working even though... Look at this. It's actually working even though... It hasn't been finished yet. And there's massive gaps everywhere, look. But here we go. Baggage is actually moving around the airport freely, which I hope will increase the speed at which people get on the aircraft and reduce the number of people missing their flights. And hopefully get the flights out on time. That would be nice. Perfect. Let's just watch the old carousel as flights arrive. Oh, look at this. The baggage car is doing its thing. I think we should definitely get another one for fuel. Um, if we can start selling fuel to aircraft, that's going to be a massive amount of income. There we go. Look at this. That is working very well. Very, very impressed. Uh, and at some point we'll expand the uh, the baggage carousel area. We're going to move it over here, expand it down here. So much is planned. So much is planned for this airport. But finally, finally, we have a working baggage system. After all of that stress and aggravation, I am so glad. Uh, and we've got 57 grand in the bank. So I think tomorrow, or in the next episode, day 24... Um, In fact, let's, let's just work on up to day 24. Why not? 
Where can we get a hangar? We'll go for a small hangar. And we'll pop it there. We'll speed things up. We've kind of neglected the passengers and the aircraft and the uh, all that kind of stuff for now. But um, I think this is a worthwhile investment. So we're going to assign vehicle, add slot one, fuel truck. <laughs> can we, how much can we charge for fuel? I don't know. I'm curious to see if the fuel truck actually does anything. It's probably a terrible waste of money if it doesn't. What can we do here in terms of fuel? Nothing. Nothing. Okay. That's okay. That is okay, actually. Not too bad at all. It'd be nice if you could have multiple um, slots, but I guess you need a larger hanger for that, which would make sense. So guys, I'm just going to run this up to the end of the day. Uh, clearly we're making profit now. Forty grand, $40,000 in the bank, plus all of this um, conveyor line improvement. Passenger satisfaction is pretty high, 95%. Aircraft are leaving almost with everybody on board uh, and a little bit late, but... Overall, I think we're making a success of this, slowly and surely. So this is going to be quite a long one today, I do apologise. Um, I'll try and trim it down a tad, so it's not the full hour, because I think I'll be playing for an hour now. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll stop that from, from being too long, and uh, try and keep it prepped and lovely, basically. 50 grand in the bank. We've nearly got enough to start expanding this part of the airport. How much do we need in total here? I think it was 250,000, wasn't it? Let me just double check that. Oh no, 188,000. So at this rate, in three to four days, uh, we could manage that. Three to four days from now. Day 30, we're going to expand the airport out. Or maybe we'll expand this way and get another gate in. That's an option as well. Okay, guys, that's it for now. Day 24, starting next week. We're in a good position now. We've got baggage handling. We've got money coming in. And pretty soon we'll have enough in order to expand the, uh, the airport even further. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Take I really appreciate it. Take care of yourselves, and until next time, goodbye for now.